Apple, Starbucks, and the NBA. Three Western brands that would like to be known for progressive politics, but have been caught up in the Hong Kong protests. Just a day after being attacked by Beijing, Apple ditched an app that was used by demonstrators to track in real time the location of Hong Kong police. The company says HKMap.Live contravened its guidelines and broke Hong Kong law. Apple boss Tim Cook has been a champion of progressive causes such as gay rights and data privacy. But the company makes about a third of its profits in Greater China, leading to accusations of double standards. The NBA took an even bigger hit. Basketball is one sport that has really conquered China. But after the general manager of the Houston Rockets tweeted, stand with Hong Kong, Beijing hit back hard. Chinese broadcasters refused to air preseason games and sponsors dropped the Rockets. The NBA floundered, even though it's well known as a league that allows its athletes and executives to speak freely. Initially, it said the tweet was regrettable before backtracking and saying the official was entitled to say what he wanted. Starbucks has been hit too, only this time by the protesters. The coffee chain is operated in Hong Kong by the restaurant group Maxim's. After the daughter of the group's founder called the protesters rioters, many of its shops were smashed up. Last year in the US, when Starbucks was accused of racial bias, it shut all of its stores in the country and enforced training for its staff. But this time, it's kept quiet. Analysts say the company can do nothing to alienate China, one of its biggest markets where it has almost 4,000 stores. Why does this matter? Because Hong Kong is the front line for China's interactions with the rest of the world. Can a company maintain its liberal credentials while making money in authoritarian China? What's happened here over the past few weeks has shone a light on the challenge of reconciling these two goals.